Robert Irwin, two running violet V forms, 1983. Robert Irwin began as a painter and began to look at his paintings thinking about the frame and thinking about where the paintings were placed. He worked on different projects where he used scrims to change the configuration of a room. He was one of the early California artists who became known as a light and space artist. Irwin, when he began as an artist in the late 1950s, early 1960s, was an abstract expressionist painter, and that evolved through a series of methodical, deliberate, highly considered steps into a practice by the late 1970s, when I first encountered it, essentially that amounted to a kind of absence, spaces devoid of the expectations we bring to works of art. He developed his paintings step by step until they began to interact with and consider and invite the presence of the space that they were in more and more until he eliminated the presence of the painting or the object itself completely. It forced viewers to attune themselves to a kind of attentiveness that you're not used to when you're looking at art. Then he developed this into something that he took out into the world, and that's what this piece from the mid-1980s is. It is entirely conditioned by your own perception. You, the unique individual, have a sense that you at the moment are perceiving this environment in a way that it is right now and is different from the way it's ever been perceived by anyone else because it's so much subject to its environment and the singularities of the weather, the shade, the light, the sun, the wind, the trees, the sound of the space around you and a sense of touch. People change their mind about this work sometimes. One actually staff member, a planner, told me that it had become her favorite work because it had no beginning and no end. It was different every time she saw it and she found it interesting time after time. This work is artwork about paying attention. If you pay attention, you really discover multiple levels of meaning and experience and a life of this work. <laughs>